Hi guys, I'm Jen, welcome to Be Set Free. You know, narcissists have a choice. Cluster B personality disordered people have a choice as to who they're going to follow in life. Are they going to follow the voice of the Lord or are they going to follow their flesh, which is of the evil one? Just because they have a personality disorder does not mean they are immune from God's word. God says we have a choice to follow him or not. God says if we reach out to him for healing, if we repent of our sins, <clears throat> he will heal us. He says if we accept him into our hearts, that we are his children. <clears throat> when we are his children, we start walking the good path. We start walking in the light. His word does not say everyone can be saved except for personality disordered people. His word does not say if you're a narcissist, you can't receive healing. But if you're anybody else, you can. I refuse to accept, and, I, and I, I'm wondering, you know, do you agree with me? That personality disordered people cannot choose to uh, <laughs> follow the Lord and be healed. They are choosing to not follow the Lord. God promises healing for all. All we have to do is accept him into our heart. And I made a video about are narcissists led by demons? Are borderline personality disordered people led by demons? And my point in that video was to say that they all do similar things be, not because they're led by demons, but because they suffered the same abuse. But I want to make it clear that they have every opportunity, as does every single person on the planet, to accept Jesus Christ into their heart and to receive healing and to repent from their sins and their evil ways and stop abusing people. And they have every chance, just like we do to do that and you know it just it's unbelievable to me that they choose to do evil and that they continue on in that and that I don't know it just seems like if we don't accept the fact that they are choosing the evil way, we are going to enable them. We are going to feel sorry for them. You know, we suffered, those of us that were in abusive relationships with these people, we suffered the same or similar um, neglect and abuse in childhood. And we chose to not be evil. We chose the Lord, even if we didn't accept him then, when we were children, God knew, because he sees the beginning from the end. God knew that we were going to accept him. And he, he like placed a special hedge of protection around us so we could survive these messed up childhoods and these, abu this abuse that we've suffered since childhood, you know, and the Lord knew that these people weren't going to accept him, that they were never going to look toward him, that they were going to refuse him and choose the evil one, you know? And so what they've ended up with is a personality disorder. But still, at any point in life, they can choose the Lord. Every single day of their life, they can choose the Lord. And I firmly believe these people can be healed of their personality disorder. These people have a choice daily to stop abusing, to stop being toxic. And they don't. They don't. Um, I want you to understand that by staying, you are enabling them. You are not helping them. 
okay? And not only are you enabling them, you are hurting yourself for no good reason. You hurting yourself more is not going to make them change. You staying is going to, it continues the process of the abuse. They just keep abusing you. They don't respect you because you stay. They don't think, wow, she really loves me. He really loves me. I should change. No. <laughs> No, and that it's so important to get the word out about this. We all need to get the word out about this because the more people that understand about narcissism and borderline and cluster B personality disorders, the more and the more we speak out, the more people will know about it. And instead of people getting in relationships with these demons, because that's they're choosing to follow the evil one, um, they will shut it down quickly. And these people will have nobody to be with but each other. And then guess what will happen? Hopefully, they will turn toward the Lord. Okay? That is their only hope. Oh my goodness, my kitty's on the table eating my daughter's food. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but that is their only hope to change, really. That's their rock bottom. When they have nobody else to manipulate and do their evil deeds to, and everybody they run across is calling them out on their mm mm, you know. What else do they have to do? Be with each other or repent and knock it off okay <laughs> oh i've just been wanting to share that with you um you know it's totally not cool as well when you call somebody out on what they're doing to you and how it's hurting you and they expect because they say oh i'm sorry that you are then going to continue the relationship with them. And when you don't, they tell you that you're toxic. You know what, friends? If anybody makes you feel uncomfortable, if anybody goes past your boundaries and you're not okay with that and you don't want to continue with them, you have every right to stop a relationship. You do not owe them an explanation although telling them how you feel is great, if they apologize, you have no responsibility to then say, oh, well, that person apologized, so okay, we'll continue on. No, an apology is great. They apologize. That does not mean that you have to continue on with that person. You owe them nothing. It's your choice, okay? Your life is your choice, and it doesn't matter what other people think about your choices. You don't need anybody else's approval for what you need to do for you, all right? It's great if you want to offer somebody some insight as to how you're feeling, um, it's great, it's fine if you feel like you want to tell a person, um, you know, you're doing this, that, or the other. I don't like it, so I'm not talking to you anymore. But you do not have to. It is your life, okay? And you are able to choose what you want to do, what you want to be a part of, who you want to be in relationship with. No matter who agrees with you or who disagrees with you, it doesn't matter. This is your life. You do not need anyone else's approval or understanding, okay? And let's say you right now are in a relationship and you are not happy. You do not need a diagnosis of your person that you're in a relationship with in order for you to move on. You don't need that diagnosis of them. You don't need somebody, you don't need a counselor, a therapist, psychologist, anyone else to tell you, you know what, they do have narcissistic personality disorder, okay? For you to feel okay to leave. You don't need anybody else to understand 
and to see you and to say, you know what? I see what you're going through. You're being abused. You can leave. You don't need anybody else to tell you that. If you're not happy, it's not working. You've tried. You feel horrible in this relationship. You can leave. If you want to leave, you can leave. You don't need anybody else's okay. And I especially want to tell that to my Christian brothers and sisters. Okay? You don't need the pastor to approve of you leaving. You don't need your most Christian friends to approve and say, yes, you're being abused. Yes, you need to leave. It is your experience in your life and only you can determine that. Okay? And I can tell you 100%, the Lord does not want you with anybody who is hurting you emotionally or physically. And even if it's just emotionally, it's not only emotionally, it's not just emotionally, that's like huge. Okay? People aren't allowed to do that to you. And you don't need anybody's okay. Nope. Nope. You can go. And I want to encourage you in that. That kept me stuck for so long. I needed other people to justify what I was, you know, the stories I would tell. I wouldn't tell everybody. But the people I would tell, I was telling them in order to get their approval that what was happening to me was wrong, it wasn't okay, and that I could leave. And I, wouldn't, I would almost never get it because people in the Christian community don't believe in divorce. They don't want to see people divorcing, and they don't generally understand abuse unless they've been through it themselves and many of them who have been through it are are or are in it don't know that they are listen friend if you're on my video if you're searching out other things on youtube regarding what is wrong here with my partner you are probably in a toxic abusive relationship okay and you do not need anybody else to understand because a lot of people won't. And that's okay. You can go. There's so many verses in the Bible that, that say you don't stick around people who are hurting you. You don't stick around people who are abusing you. You don't stick around people that that are hurting you and abusing you, you know? Yes, there's a few verses that say um, um, we're to be long-suffering. Not when you're being abused, okay? That has to do with patience. We don't need to be patient with abusive people. We don't need to be patient with wolves in sheep clothing. We don't need to be patient with people who are we're casting... Uh, we're giving them our pearls, our good things, our love, our, our good parts, and they're just casting it away. You don't cast your pearls before swine. There's, there's a ton like that. And please know, God, Christian, does not want you staying where you're being abused. And you staying is not bringing them to the light. So anyway, I just wanted to come on here and say that. Um, I, I truly do and can see and believe that these people are being led by demons because they are choosing to be led by demons. And nothing you say or you do you, that you do is going to change that. That has to be a choice from them. And by you staying, you are enabling them to do more abuse, unfortunately. And I'm so sorry. And it sucks. And it hurts. And we wish that we could lead them to the light. And we love them so much. But regardless, what I'm saying is true. Okay, so please feel free to leave a comment. Please feel free to reach out to me at be set free from abuse at gmail.com. And I will talk to you real soon. Bye.